What's up guys? We are back and man, do we have some stuff today? What? Do we have some stuff? We have some stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, uh hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh if you're new, please like, comment and subscribe. We do a video every week on lots of toys. And for all of you who keep coming back, thank you very much. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. And yeah, so this week, we've just been having these weeks where it is like Monday comes, we maybe find something, and then nothing Tuesday, nothing Wednesday, nothing Thursday. And then what happens on Friday and Saturday? Bam, 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 bam. I mean, there is just toys galore, and I love it. So there is a lot of stuff here today. Uh, this might be a little bit longer video, but we're going to try to get through it. And I am just, I'm so excited about everything on here right now. Are you? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, so let's get into it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show, we're not going to open. Wow. Why even do it? Why well, even do it? Okay. Boom! <laughs> so let's do it. Um, yeah, like I said, we just have so much cool stuff here. Um, so the first thing I wanted to show. I'm not going to open it. And I'm not going to open it. Uh, I didn't even know that this came out, but this is Stranger Things, the Void series Demogorgon. Now, I have seen these Void series. I've seen Eleven. I've seen Hopper. Um, what's the new dude's name? Billy. Oh, Jesus. Um, it's not Jesse or... S Jimmy? No. I don't know what it is. Whatever the new guy is in the season. They keep ruining uh, the new season, by the way. We saw a demo bat today. Yeah, what is that? There was no demo. There was a demo bat, but whatever. Um, I didn't realize that they were coming out with a Demogorgon. Now, I do not like these figures at all. Um, I have a bunch of the McFarlane ones back in the day, and they're not that great either. But these ones, the people just don't look good. But this looks fantastic. First time seeing this. Uh, this was at Target. They have a lot of Stranger Things stuff at Target right now, obviously, because the new season coming out. But this looks great. And obviously, the Demogorgon, come on, Dope. just sick. Um, I am super happy with this box. I love how they shaped out his head and everything in it. And it just looks fantastic. Now, why does it have a five on the side of the box? It's the fourth season. Because he's probably the number fifth, the fifth figure oh, okay. in this thing, I would assume. Um, so, like I said, I'm not going to open it, but I am going to show this is the McFarlane one that they made uh, when the first season came out. Um, and I really, really like this Demogorgon, but you can kind of see the differences. The face is a little bit different. Um, the body looks a little bit beefier on here. But it's not much. Where's where's the height, do you think? Is it like there? This one definitely does look like it's probably mm -hmm. a little bit taller, probably a little bit bigger. Um, like I said, I, I want to find another one so I can open it and we'll really see. But I really love the McFarlane one. And this one in the box just looks so cool. I just have to leave it. So sorry, we are not going to open it. Maybe if I find another one, like I said, we'll do it later. But really, really cool. So this was at Target. What was it? It was like 40 bucks. It was like 30 something. 39. I think so. Not terrible. Um, but there it is. There is the new Demogorgon and the McFarlane Demogorgon. And if you like Stranger Things, check out your targets. There's a lot of stuff there. Like I said, the other figures, they just don't look really well. We did see Elle um, in her, God, what, what was that all white clothing where she's in the bath and or in that tank. Um, so they do have that, but pretty cool. So they do have a lot of cool Stranger Things at Target right now. So go check it out. It might ruin the new season for you though, but I doubt it. Probably not. But anyways, so everything else though, we are opening. My thing though, like stop putting out toys before, before the season, the comes, season out. Yeah, comes out. Yeah, they kind of ruin quite a bit. Like I said. Well, um, one, it's like people don't know who the heck these figures are. I can't remember are. who that dude's name is. It's a dude with the guitar. Yeah, what the... I don't know. Anyways, so, but yes, they are, it kind of sucks. Like I think you would sell more if you waited for it to come out. Probably. I agree with you 100%. That's just me. I am happy, though, to get the Demogorgon. Yeah. Demogorgon is the best. So, let's start with the next stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff I got at GameStop, which was super cool. So, we got the Tyranid Gene Stealer. Now, I'm probably butchering that name, but I don't care. So, this is from Warhammer 40,000. Yeah, 40,000. Um, I don't collect Warhammer figures. I do think some of them look really cool, but this dude, when I first saw the, uh, kind of the pictures pre-release, uh, I th thought this would look really, really cool. And I 
just felt like I was going to get it anyways. I saw it once. I didn't get it because there was a lot of people at GameStop and I didn't want to wait. Never saw it again. So we did hit up Amazon and Amazon has it on there for $19.99 right now. So go get it. As you can see, the box is totally wrecked because what did they put it in, Allie? They put it in a bubble, ma a, 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 a bubble mailer. Again, Amazon being cheap. Oh, so annoying. But that's okay, because we're opening it up. So, one thing, too, with this is, like, this is one figure for sure that, like, why would you keep it in a box? His other arms aren't even on. That's really disappointing. So, um, where are the scissors? I've got them. She's got the scissors. You want me to throw them to you? Yeah, I'll catch Ready? them. No, please don't. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, kind of a bummer. This is one that I would definitely just open out a box anyway, so I'm not really mad that this box is destroyed, but it kind of sucks, like, because I know a lot of people still collect stuff in box, and I do too, obviously. Um, and, like, you look at this, and this looks so cool in the box, and, like, this box is really cool, so for it to come just destroyed would really suck. But this, like, his two arms are down there. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of... It's like the... Whatever his name, the dog... Oh, Bronx. Bronx. Bronx was yeah, he just too. looks weird in the box. Yep. So you do get a stand with him. It is a Warhammer stand. This is my very first Warhammer uh, figure. My buddy Jason, shout out to Jason, has a ton of Warhammer stuff. Um, and this has been out for a little bit. I just have not had very much luck finding it. Like I said, I've seen it one time, and there was just like four kids and four adults ahead of me in the GameStop line, and How no, not today. Annoying. So. Oh, this thing's going to be dope, I think. So here is one arm that we will attach here in a second. And here is the other one. So it's both left arms. Um, kind of interesting. I thought they were going to be exactly the same. But look at three prongs on there. And this one's huge. Um, so different arms. That is really cool that they're not just exactly the same. Um, this dude doesn't come with any accessories. But, again, I don't know about this guy, so I'm guessing he's just a monster, so he probably doesn't have accessories anyways. But, we're excited. They zip-tied him in, like, the dumbest spot, though. Because I took out my eye. Okay, so, let me get... Look at all those. My goodness. Just for a four-armed monster? I love these crazy looking monsters that's why i like demogorgon and that's why this guy i was like see look at that that's how it comes out of the box that sucks <laughs> so oh that's kind of interesting okay he's got some black noir going on <clears throat> if well we'll show okay okay i was kind of scared i felt like i was gonna break this dude so it's just like a build a figure piece almost you just connect these in oh a light died Pause for two seconds. It's fine. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay. It is what Wasn't it is. Sure. Oh, one God. light, one light, one arm. Jeez. Okay, so they go in pretty simple, which is super nice. Um, man, he looks pretty dope. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him to stand though. Okay, so there he is. So I really like it. The one thing I don't like already is his little tail down here it doesn't really move so it kind of looks like he's a little black noir you know so <laughs> he's got the package too but um i really like the look the face looks awesome the different hands is just great for me because i figured they would just do the exact same ones but the fact you got these huge claws and these small ones here is really cool oh sorry you got scared there didn't you um and then there's the side view. I do really like his face. I love the tongue coming out. And I love this little, like, purple pattern on his head. Sorry, I couldn't see the face before when I was showing it to you. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And then here's the back. His back is pretty cool. It's really rigid. Um, they do a really good job. I think the detail on this is really good. And like I said, I see a lot of these Warhammer figures. And they do look really cool. I just, I don't know anything about Warhammer this guy, I figured he's monster, so I can kind of, like, throw him in with my other stuff. Um, so if you do know about this guy, let me know about him. I'd be interested. So he looks really good, though. I think he looks mm -hmm. really awesome. Um, Height-wise, he is a little smaller than the McFarlane. Meek Farlin, The McFarlane Demogorgon, but he's actually pretty decent size. Um, his legs, let's see. So his knees... They're pretty stiff right here, so it's kind of hard to get it completely straight. They do have a nice ankle joint there, 
Um, and then the feet also do have the joint there. As far as out here, the legs do go out pretty far. They do, you can see the joints in there. Yeah, that looks funny, right? That's what I'm saying. I like just take that off. It doesn't move at all? No, it doesn't. So this thing does not move at all. I would almost wish that this was like back that? here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, it is, he does have kind of a cool like little ab crunch here. So he can kind of like go up into a ball, which is kind of cool. And do um, his own pleasures. Oh my goodness. Just <laughs> stop. <laughs> Um, his arms are pretty bendable, which is cool. These can bend in. You got your wrist action. You got your elbow action. So, I mean, you can put these arms, as I break it, in some pretty cool poses. How are you um, going to pose it? I don't know. His, his head doesn't move as much as I would like it to. This neck is just stiff and the mouth does not move. Dang. But it's so close to almost moving. But, um, like I said, you've got some pretty good movement in these arms so i almost like this kind of reminds me of uh you know the spider that spider-man turns into which is really cool um i just really like all these like four-armed monster figures they're just really cool so i'm i'm digging this guy i'm gonna have to play around with him see what kind of pose we want to put him in um but he's pretty flexible and he actually I want to see if I can... I got him to stand pretty easily already. I don't know, like, bending down. Let's see if we can... There we go. You can get him in some cool crawling moves. Um, I wish his head would go up a little bit. But he is, pretty sweet, he is though, pretty like cool. That. Yeah, I always like to do that with, like, these. Like, one arm on the ground and just kind of going at it. He looks pretty cool. I really do like this. This is pretty solid. Like I said, it's on Amazon still, $19.99. Um, and I have seen people find it at Target and GameStop. So if you're interested in Warhammer, guys, that guy's pretty dope. So I do like it. But he, what is he called? Tyra the Jeans. Tyranid Jeans Stealer. So he's going to steal your jeans. So make sure you wear shorts. Um, but uh, yeah, that was pretty stupid. But anyways, all right, let's go into the next thing. So next thing we have, I also got at GameStop and this was on GameStop.com. Um, didn't know GameStop had it, but the BST AXN Ninja Turtles line is back and we have the foot soldier and this foot soldier looks fantastic. Now, I know a lot of people just rip this line and how crappy these Ninja Turtle figures are and just don't buy them they suck and honestly i'm happy with them they are cheap aren't they and like 15 bucks? there was all the turtles i got for 15 i believe he was 16 on um gamestop.com but he comes with a buttload of accessories and look at the box this box is really mm -hmm. cool i actually really really like these i do wish i kind of kept some of these in box but they're fantastic. Um, I can find all the turtles still at Walmart, so if you are interested in them. And this is probably still on GameStop.com, so if you are interested, check it out. Um, I am going to pop this guy open. And like I said, I mean, I get it. These are not NECA, okay? These are not NECA. These are not Super 7. These are not any of these turtle lines that... I'm going to destroy the box that what are you looking at i was seeing do you have one open from like the actual like ninja turtle line the foot mm -hmm. i don't have any of them open. open nope i don't i had the ultimate foot and i gave it to ron um, um so but like i mean like i said i i'm i love these i think they're great for the price they are not anything amazing but they are also not terrible so let's see what we got so again, well, we haven't opened one of these in a while. A There's sticker. the little BSTAXN thing. And like I said, I'm going to be careful with this because all this stuff will fall out. Look at the accessories. For a $15 figure, you're getting that much stuff. It's fantastic. I love it. So you have different hands. These hands are super small. And these ones are to hold the weapons. He does come with fist hands on, so you will have to switch those off. Then you get another set of hands, which are some open hands, which I believe he could probably throw his gun, his big gun in there. I'm just, I'm super happy with just all the accessories they give you. And this gun is slick, man. So this is the one thing I really do like. 
This gun, it looks super slick. Now the end looks like a trumpet or something. Um, but like this gun compared to like the NECA ones, the NECA ones look very cartoony, obviously, because they are from the cartoon line. But that doesn't look as cartoony to me. I really like it. I think it looks really awesome. And he does come with Ninja Stars. And he comes with two different ones, which are awesome. So you have that one with the hole in it. And then you have your more standard just Ninja Star. And that's not it. That is not it. You're just dropping everything, aren't you? Yeah, They're hard to hold. They're very mm -hmm. tiny. Um, then you have this spear, which is bent. pretty basic. It's bent. It's a long uh, accessory, but, you know, whatever. And then you have a katana sword, which is cool. Um, again, this is a little bent, and there's not much detail to the sword, but you do get a sword. So you get, like, four weapons and two other sets of hands with this guy which is super awesome. So I, it's one reason why I like these figures. I'm actually, I'm very happy with, ooh, we're good. I'm very happy with all the BSTAXN figures. Um, but you know, I know a lot of people aren't. So, I got a little busted head. He's, he feels tiny though, compared to all the other stuff. So here, and I did get one with a busted ankle. His ankle feels like it's gonna snap on me. Totally feels like Greninja. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him to stand at all. We'll just hold him. So there he is. So I kind of have a busted ankle. I'm gonna have to mess around with him. But the foot soldier in general looks really good. Um, I love the front of him. It looks really good. There's, you know, not much. There's no signs or anything on here. He does have the foot on his head. Um, and then the arms, you know, he does have the little armor. And like I said, he comes with fist hands. It's very basic looking foot, but it is really cool. You could totally army build with these guys. And I mean, compared to spending like $30 for a foot soldier, these are a lot cheaper. Um, you know, it, it does feel a little worse made than some other figures. Um, but again, for the price, I think these are pretty cool. His arms, you do have a full arm swivel there, which is kind of cool. Um, the arms bend very well. He's got not much wrist there. His head was pretty tight, so I don't have much movement in his head, which is kind of a bummer. Um, and then his legs do bend pretty well, so you can get them in pretty good positions. This guy's super skinny, though. Um, it does feel like he's going to snap everywhere. Just came off. It didn't break. We're good it's just a peg there but the reason why it came off is because of his little skirt here so it is kind of tight restricting he does have a thigh swivel um only thing i'm just not very happy about is his ankles his ankles are yeah i think i got a messed up one um you can see his ankle joints there they're super tiny and this is kind of how greninja was for me from the pokemon line to where that's gonna snap so i'm gonna have to play around with that so that's kind of a bummer um i'm not disappointed i don't think it's amazing so there he is compared to the bst axn leo so he's height wise he's taller but he's much skinnier his joints are a lot skinnier which kind of sucks because i feel like they are gonna break but it's not terrible and he does fit in very well with this and obviously, you know, you have his sword. His sword is a lot smaller than Leo's, but look how much better that sword looks than Leo's. Mm -hmm. Crazy better. So, not terrible. Um, I do want to see if we can. I do like that the hands and stuff do come off very easily. There's no way that's going to fit in his hand. Okay, it did. I was wrong. So, there's his sword. So pretty cool. I do like his sword a lot. Um, like I said, it's not a bad figure. I do really like these guys. And especially for the price, they're just not, again, they're they're not NECA. So if you're buying these because you're trying to, you know, have turtles for NECA, then eh, it, it's, a, it's a lost cause. But um, you can see kind of his height compared to this guy. It is not even close. So this guy is way bigger. Hey, he's helping him stand though. So there we go. Even if you have a bum ankle, get a war hammer and he'll <laughs> help your guy stand up. So really cool. Um, I did want to see. So 
Since we have him here, this is actually perfect. His body fits perfect in his hands. Look at that. We're having fun today. Oh, oh, come on. I know you can do it. Look at that. Warhammer is just going to hold up the foot. I love it. <laughs> so, um, pretty cool. Like I said, I do really like this gun. I think this gun is fantastic. I'm probably going to actually pose him with the gun. Um, it's nothing crazy. Again, I'm probably not going to get another one. I do like these. They do have a two-pack coming out with Bebop and Rocksteady. Looks pretty decent. Um, and then they'll have others coming out. I'm sure Shredder and stuff like that. So, again, you know, it's not terrible. For the price, what you're getting, you do get a lot of accessories and you get some Ninja Turtles. So, it's really up to you what you think. I like them. I think they actually look really good in box. I'm kind of disappointed I opened all of them. I would have just left them in box. They look fantastic. So... So there we go. So we have three things left. And these three things are probably my favorite. We're going to leave these two for last. We're going to skip ahead. I'm going to make some room here. Just stab myself with the scissors. Yeah. We are doing the fish. What's his name, Allie? You don't know his name? You don't know how to say that? Prontus head? Piranus head. Piranus head. Sure. Sounds good. Sure. I don't know exactly how to say his name anymore. Um, okay, he doesn't want to. He's holding on to the foot soldier really well, though. So we have Karana's head, and I'm probably saying it wrong, but this is really cool. This is Lightning Collection. Um, I didn't pre order this, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it. He's kind of like the pig for me, where I kind of had to see it in person, and I did want to get it. So, funny story about this, though, he showed up for me on the Target dot com app and showed in stock at a store so we decided to go to that certain target on saturday and we found him and what else a ninja a ninjetti which is fantastic because the ninjettis did not show up at all so i'm super excited to get this one one because i think they've done a very good job with these monsters i really really do i'm oh, do very you think that I do, Stu. Oh, okay. I do. I, I think they've done a very good job with Monsters of Lightning Collection. Um, the other thing, too, is I had the old one growing up back in the day. Really dumb, but I used to play with it in the tub all the time. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Your I know. little rubber ducky, yeah, too. Yeah, pretty much. So, But it was super cool, so I am pretty stoked to get this. And the other thing I like about this guy is his colors. His colors on this pop so much more than the older ones. So there he is. He is very, what did I just shoot at you? Oh, he is very colorful, which is fantastic. And I'm super excited to pop him open and see what these accessories are and everything. So again, he was at Target. Again, I know he's not anything new either. I just, I haven't had very good luck finding the monsters. These Ninjetis I can find, but monsters I can't. Um, we finally found the pig. We still have never seen Eye Guy in a store by me. But we already have eye guys, so that's okay. So he does come with hands. He comes with these like claw hands coming at you, which are pretty decent size. I do love the size of these monsters as well. They're really awesome. He does come with an extra fin. I believe this goes on the back of his head. No. I'm gonna, ooh, sometimes with you. Uh, he does come with this like water effect piece, which is actually pretty cool. It's pretty bendy. I don't know where that's supposed to go. But of course, he don't have it on anywhere on this box. Um, so you have a little effect piece, which is pretty cool. And I actually did not know that these were on a chain. I thought maybe they'd let you like put these in his hands or something and you could shoot them out. But that is pretty cool. That chain's really cool. It has the piranhas on it. Piranaconda. If you guys have ever seen Piranaconda, let me know. One of the worst movies in the world. There's a couple like that though. So here he is. Oh, this dude's actually. show the figure um what i do like already is that he has just big feet which is fantastic because that makes him easy to stand so there he is i think the paint apps on this dude 
are fantastic. I love the coloring. The turquoise or the like bright green turquoise on his legs is really cool. The fins, they did a very good job. I mean, just look at these fins compared to this fin. The coloring is just really, really cool. It really, really pops. Um, let me throw his back fin on, which does it go this way? That would make sense, right? That mm -hmm. way, I think so. Um, and the tail is really cool. And you actually do have some motion in the tail there. So that's really cool. Um, but just the coloring looks fantastic. It really, really does. He's going to stand really easy because of his huge feet, which is fantastic because the pig, I can't get to stand at all. Um, and I just think, wow, this thing looks a lot better in person. It really, really does. So a couple things. Let's see. So you do have um, his elbows do move. You're kind of restricted because of these. So his arms can't go too far up. I mean, that's about where you're going to get it to. It's not terrible, um, but both arms are pretty solid. I like the joints on the arms too. They're pretty thick. What is cool is his mouth can open. Um, it's not like the pig, but you can pry that open so you can have it open and he can have it shut. And this does have a lot more movement. I feel like that's Maybe almost broken, broken one. right? It almost feels like it's broken. So you guys will have to let me know. <laughs> does your guys' jaw do that? Because you there was two there and you picked the broken one there was three and you picked the broken one the so i don't know paints were on this it side. might be broken um it looks fine to me though like i'm okay with that so nothing terrible oh there goes the fin um the legs do have pretty good movement he actually has a thigh swivel which is kind of crazy um for that thin of a leg i do like you have joint here you have joint here, like there's a couple joints down in his legs, which works really nice. Um, the tail you can spin, has a little bit of movement, nothing crazy, but he's pretty solid. Did I? Yeah, it has to go like that. I just didn't get it in. This fin's kind of hard to get in. There it is. I just didn't get it in all the way. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, but yeah, I think I might have got a busted jaw. Bummer. That sucks, but that's okay. Yo, his whole face. Interesting. Huh, I don't know. He might be busted there. Maybe there's something else you can do. He does kind of have an ab crunch here, which is kind of cool. Um, but I do really like how he looks. I think he looks really good. And you can put these in his hand, which is pretty cool. And again, I don't know where this water effect's supposed to go. Probably not there. No, but where would you put it? I don't know. Exactly. So um, he holds this okay. I mean, I have his hand going down, so we can just hold it like this. And it stays in there. But he is really cool. Again, I do think I got a busted one. His head is kind of weird, though. So... I don't know, maybe I'll just have to play around with it a little bit. But I do really like it. The coloring is fantastic. Paint apps look great. Um, the overall style of the body I really like. Again, like I said, I really like his feet. They're huge. They do have movement in them. Um, they look great. So I think this dude is actually pretty good. And there he is height-wise compared to the uh, Warhammer guy. But I like it. What do you think? Yeah. The pig, I think, is a little bit better. But this guy, mm -hmm. I'm interested, I mean, sorry. I uh, was kind of surprised they made this guy because they did make him, you know, back in the day as a toy. But um, he's not like some huge villain in Power Rangers. So uh, kind of interesting they made him, but he is really cool. I'm pretty excited about him. So pretty cool. So that was also at Target. I think he was 30, right? 34, maybe? Yeah, I think. Kind of expensive, but that's okay. So... Next thing we're going to get into, we're just going to stay with Power Rangers. Boom! We got Billy, the Blue Ranger from Ninjetti. Uh, so super, super cool. Like I said, we walked in, went to Target, found Piranha's head, and then I looked up and bam, there was Billy. So super, super excited. I'm having really good luck with these Ninjettis um, at Target. We have found the white one and the blue one at Target. 
uh, the pink one I did get off my pre-order. So really cool. I've seen the black one is showing up as well. So keep a lookout for the black one at Target and this blue one. Now, I talked about this with the white one about really bad paint apps. Now, this guy, they all looked pretty decent. Um, the only thing was this head and this head had some scuffs here and there on the couple I saw. Um, so we did have to, you know, still kind of look and make sure we got good ones. But as far as paint app wise, they weren't nearly as bad as the white one. The white one has probably been the worst one I have seen. Um, and that's because he's all white and the gold bleeds and everything like that. So, but I am, I was super, super happy to find this yesterday. Um, we walked in, found Piranha's head, Demogorgon, and this Ninjetti yesterday. Like it was it was fantastic. It really made my Saturday morning. So that was cool. Not me, but the toys. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you had a good time too. So there he is in the plastic. Um, pretty cool. What is interesting is his effect is actually made to go on his hand. The other two, uh, the pink and the white, theirs are supposed to go on their feet. But he comes with pretty much everything um, that the others do. Now, I have already seen something on here that sucks, but we will get into that. So, um, again, these hands are a pain. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> so, you do get the flat, like, ninja hand with him, which is cool. Um, sorry. The paint apps are pretty good on the hand. Not terrible. I hate how they put these in the box, though. And then you get this, it's not a fist hand, it's like this, pretty much. Not sure exactly why they give it to him, probably because he's a ninja, but whatever. Um, he does come with the effect, and again, these boxes just make it look funny. There's the color of the effect piece on the box. What does that look like? Like a translucent blue, mm -hmm. right? What do you get? A solid white. White. Solid white. So... Um, kind of a bummer that I would kind of like that translucent blue because it almost makes him look like Sub-Zero a little bit, which is pretty cool. I know it's not Sub-Zero, well, it's not. whatever. Um, this is one thing I did notice with some of these head sculpts. So this bandana has a little bit of scuffing. Um, his hair looks pretty good, but to me, what's crazy with these head sculpts, does his eyebrows not look like they're shining? Like some of them, I don't Looks know if you've like seen you the camera. Glitter. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Eyes. That's kind of how a couple of them looked. Um, I do think that face sculpt looks good though. But for some reason, and I don't remember what I put them in. Okay, I did have them in there. So I did. So it is the same thing. I love this one though. This is how pretty much all my guys are going to go. And they do give you this extra piece again to throw on. But this head sculpt is, again, my favorite of all of them. I really like it. It looks good. Again, though, it looks a little shiny, right? Those eyebrows. Mm -hmm. So kind of interesting. Let's take Billy out. Do you remember what his last name is, Allie? No. What's the main character in Breaking Bad? What is it? Billy Heisenberg? No. What's the guy who plays him his last name? Oh, Actually. Billy White? Cranston. Oh, Cranston. Sorry. Billy White. <laughs> so, all right, here's the Ninjetti. So here is my biggest issue. And my pink and white one have the same joints, but they don't have as much marks. So here he is. He stands easy inside those elbow joints. Oof. They look bad. And all of them I saw look like this they just look like somebody just was crunching them and crunching them and crunching them and then just rubbed and rubbed and rubbed all over and both of them are like that um as far as everything else on him i think it looks pretty good the symbol looks fantastic i really love the wolf it looks awesome he's a wolf in this one Allie, not the uh triceratops i almost said stegosaurus um but he does look cool and again i did get one with good feet and i've seen people find these that are missing these so that's kind of a bummer um so it doesn't look like anything is wrong 
anywhere else on him. Like I said, the blue and the pink looked a lot better than the white. Um, and that's just because they're darker. It's easier to kind of hide stuff. But again, those elbow joints, oof, pretty bad. I've seen a lot of people complain about these elbow joints too. And I totally get it. I've had no issues with my other two. Um, but it does look pretty bad. And again, he's going to have this thigh swivel. Again, his legs are kind of like that too. This one is pretty bad. Again, they're just scuffed up on the back. Um, you know, I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to point it out, but it's not that big of a deal to me. But I love how these guys move around. They're pretty good. And honestly, like I said, the paint on this one looks pretty good. All this looks good. Um, yeah. The whole suit looks pretty dang good. It's just those elbow joints and those leg joints just look terrible. So let's... Oh, no! I didn't heat it up. Yeah, I'm still doing that. Um, there's that face if you want to show that a little bit more. But I am putting this one on because this one looks so much cooler. there it is and we will put his effect on i am very happy that they the effect is supposed to go on his hand though because i don't really like the foot effects on the other ones Does he have the fist hand in he might have the fist hand in oh that's kind of cool that's a great idea with these extra heads right he's the There's head our collector picture. yeah there we go <laughs> the, the head collector no, he's the gene. Whatever. I don't, this hand is kind of hard to get in, though. There we go. And then we're going to make him look like the box. Boom. Except I changed out the head sculpt so it won't look like the box. Wow. Yeah, these effects kind of suck. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of these Ninjetti effects, but it's okay. The figures in general are pretty cool, and I can get them to stand pretty easily, which is pretty awesome. So there he is in the box. Um, you can even see the joints on the box in those elbows. I mean, they don't look shredded like mine does, but you can still really see it. But it is solid. I'm I really like these Ninjetti figures, but you know, I'm a Power Ranger fan, and you know from what? the movie yeah i know you can you? never tell right so and there he is next to the monster which is cool um i love again the size of these monsters i think they're fantastic so really cool so there's billy so we just need uh i almost said zach but it's adam actually um we need adam still and then obviously rocky and aisha come out later so but there we go so check your targets they are there. So the last thing we have, and I'm really excited for this. Really excited. Really what is it, Alex? Excited. What brand is it? McFarlane. McFarlane. Wow. Feels like we haven't had a lot of McFarlane lately, but woo! The Arkham Knight from McFarlane. Now, if you have not played any of the video games, you're probably like, who the heck is this guy? Ant Man wannabe. Ant-Man. Just kidding. Why is he Ant-Man? His face. No. Yeah, his no, helmet no, with little no. things. Okay, anyways, <laughs> this is not Ant-Man, first of all. <laughs> has no powers like Ant-Man. Um, but again, if you haven't played Arkham Asylum, which was the first one, you know, the Arkham Knight, um, all those Batman games, which are very good, by the way. If you have not played them, you need to play them. They're really, really good. Um, he is in the video game. Now, I kind of want to tell you who it is, but I'm not going to. It... <laughs> Kind of disappointed me when I found out who it was. So. It's the Joker. Eh, it's no, not, but uh, <laughs> it's Poison Ivy. Um, but yeah, so if you if you don't know about him, definitely go check out the video game. Super cool. Um, but he looks fantastic. I have one complaint with this, and we'll get into it. But um, I did also, we've been looking for this guy for a while. Uh, at Walmarts, everywhere, nothing. Then I go on GameStop.com, and guess what? He's on GameStop.com, so really cool. Again, GameStop has been fire. I don't really like GameStop, but they've been fire for me lately. Um, and again, you spend over $35, 
and you get free shipping. So I bought him and the foot soldier free shipping. Boom. Really, really cool. So, and he came super quick. I believe he's still in stock there. So take a look if you need him. Again, the card is just this back picture, which that back picture is really cool. Mm -hmm. I do really wish his eyes would glow. So maybe gold, gold label. label. Yeah, gold label. Um, but we'll see. So man, I hope he doesn't break on me because he looks really cool. So there he is. And again, my biggest complaint though, look at this box. Nothing. Empty, man. Like again, this foot soldier came with more. Like I know this Warhammer guy didn't come with more, but like still, like come on. So he does come with some accessories, which is nice. He just doesn't come with some of the accessories I would like. Um, my biggest complaint with this guy is he should have a bunch of guns with him. Now, again, if oh, and actually, I'll sh I'll show this in the video. If you guys haven't seen up on McFarlandToys.com. They have this accessory pack right here. Uh, it is for spawn McFarlane characters, but it's a bunch of guns um, that you could definitely use with all of your McFarlane figures. So that includes Batman, Superman, all those guys. So uh, it's like 15 bucks on McFarlandToys.com. It's the only place you can get it right now that I've seen. Uh, shipping, I think, was like $8. So I probably won't get it, but it comes with like 15 guns for 15 bucks. Not a bad deal. There is a nice long Joker gun on there. So a lot of people told me about this when I said, hey, he doesn't come with guns. Well, get the accessories back. Still, it just drives me nuts. So he does come with this. Uh, well, I still have tape on it. Hold on. Okay. He does come with this grapple launcher, which is pretty cool. It's not a bad grapple launcher. Um, I'm just kind of sick of just grapple launchers instead of guns. But it's okay. And then he does come, which is a nice surprise. But again, like, give me some guns. He comes with some grenades, which is awesome. They're probably like either smoke grenades or percussion grenades. Um, but they are really, really cool, which is awesome. <clears throat> and he does come with two of them. But I just, just want some guns. Just want some guns. So he is not zip tied in anywhere. Kind of interesting, right? Very Kinda interesting. Interesting. Boom. This dude just straight up reminds me of Grim Knight. It's how cool. And Grim Knight came with some sick guns. That's interesting that they did that. Okay. His ankles are pretty loose, but I would rather McFarlane's ankles be loose than tight. So let's see his legs kind of wonky though there he is i think he looks fantastic though i love the armor it looks really good looks just like the game um i know in the game there is a little bit more blue uh i think later in the game on him but he looks really really good the armor is really cool um and again what i really like what i think mcfarland did a very good job here is around his belt all these little details you have the grenades mm -hmm. hanging there you have this over here um, just really, really cool. What I don't like, look at this. Oh. Yeah. They're just rubber pieces, which oh, I really guess to give rubber. you, you know, the more mobility in the knees. Um, but those are just going to wear I over time and they're just, start to mm -hmm. fall. exactly. I didn't realize that until I opened him. Um, there's the side view. Like I said, really cool. I love this mesh kind of look on the pants. They've, he's been doing that on a couple of the figures lately, which is really awesome. Um, really good details in the arms. Uh, he doesn't come with any alternate hands, which is kind of a bummer. Again, this is that same kind of rubber there, but it does look really good. His face does look... It is supposed to be like that. It almost looked like it was scuffed up, but it's just the armor there, which is really cool. Um, and then there is the back. I really like these shoulder pieces, but again, they're kind of like flappy like that as well. But the back looks really good. It looks very solid i mean again it's mostly a black figure it reminds me like i said of grim knight it's almost like that same body type but just has more armor on it and everything i love the face that was one thing i've always liked about arkham knight is his face and the smaller bat ears right there looks really cool but see if those eyes would glow that would be really really cool so i do really like this guy let's see so his knees do bend a little better because of this thing. But as you see, once you bend it out, that's where it's at. 
There is no thigh swivel, which is kind of a bummer. Um, the ankles aren't too bad. His arms, he does actually, with these, have very good mobility in his arms, which I'm super surprised just because of those shoulder pieces. So that's probably why they did that, which is cool because now you can get his arms all the way up. Um, his arms are moving fantastic for me. They don't feel that loose, but they don't feel like they're going to break. Um, his head, little tight. You can move it up and down. You can move it side to side. Pretty cool. Um, his elbow joints do are pretty well, you know, moving as well. Uh, and he's, he can do kind of the splits, but I, I do really like this guy. This is really cool. Um, it almost looks like, curious, like if you can, oh, and I almost break it. So I wanted to see if I could hang these off of his belt and it does look like you can, but it's, there's not much room and I feel like I'm going to bust this there we go so there's one and there's two so you can hang those extra grenades off of his belt right there um that is about the only place you can really hang it off of him um it's just kind of bummer though like you already did get those here and yeah these come off so you can put one in his hand but it's like cool give me something else you know so a gun would look fantastic for him again the grapple launcher is really cool um and you could probably get him in some pretty good poses you know but he is pretty cool so i will say the accessory gun pack would probably do this guy some wonders because he is definitely missing some guns um i did want to since i already talked about it this be the last thing we do bring grim knight into here and this is kind of what i'm talking about they almost have that exact same body looking but i mean look at the guns these are the guns that came with grim knight so um if you could give this guy some guns it'd be fantastic but they almost look like that and like let's see if i just i mean he comes with these hands to hold guns as well like man if he just would have came with a big gun or something that would have been fantastic even this gun this little uh is that an uzi would have been great with him um so like i said he definitely reminds me of grim knight a lot but he is super solid i really like this figure i'm just gonna have to get some accessories for it so what do you think he's pretty cool looking right i don't know i just see ant-man like literally the the face it just that's what it reminds me of I, do you not see that no i seriously, don't seriously i do not i do know not you look so like. you guys have to let me know is this ant-man or is this grim knight no <laughs> <laughs> or grim knight or arkham knight <laughs> <laughs> so there we go um i'm i'm super satisfied honestly uh the foot soldier was kind of a disappointment to me and that's i think just because i got some bum ankles um i do really like the power rangers stuff i love this arkham knight i think it's really cool this warhammer dude this gene stealer is really awesome um and then Gorgon... stealing oh okay <laughs> <laughs> but so super cool so targets and game stops um nothing at walmart this week so yeah just keep checking your targets these ninjetties are popping up just be patient don't be paying scalpers don't do it be patient please um they just will all of a sudden start popping up i promise you guys um but yeah let me know what you guys think what was your favorite thing here do you guys collect warhammer stuff if you do again let me know which what, what this guy is what he does whatever he steals jeans yes we heard that okay but does he steal jean shorts jean pants like what human jeans i know I, it's a and joke. then that's why he's so ugly because he mixed matched too many jeans together Okay. With all the uggos. All the uggos. Okay, <laughs> great. Um, let me know what you guys think about the Ninja Turtle BT BSTA XN stuff. Uh, what do you think about Arkham Knight here? And Stranger Things. Are you guys excited for Stranger Things? Yes! We are. We are super excited. So, um, yeah. Follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. I think I know what kind of photo we're going to do now, and I'm pretty excited for it. Um, 
So that will be up today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and yeah, thank you for coming by. Please like, comment, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And all of you that are just awesome, just stay awesome. And yeah, that's it for today. So as always, collectors never stop collecting. Collecting.